so this is how I make the tassel garland. Let me turn the camera around from the thrift shop. And I just got some colors I wanted. Um, and all I do, if you look at this t-shirt, I just cut strips the length of the shirt. And I have a rotary cutter that's usually very helpful um, that you can get at Walmart or Joann's and you need a cutting mat. Um, I didn't bring it with me in the camper, so I've been cutting the strips with scissors, um, which is very time consuming. But um, I, I even use like the buttons and everything. I'll just cut a strip, keep the buttons in it. It just makes it more interesting, I think. And I like different textures. And I prefer the um, tassel garland over the um, triangle garland for outside because I like how this blows in the wind. So here are the strips that I cut. And I'm going to show you next how I attach them to the garland. These ones I've already put on the string. The string is um, just thin twine. It's not uh, that jute paper yarn. It's like thin twine. And I did use a clothesline on the, um, the one I'm going to show in the picture that I did with my craft show and that was a mistake because the garland ended up being very heavy. This one I should be able to just mount to my camper with binder clips or clothes pins I hope. So how I do it is you start, you have to make sure these are even or close to even. I'm going to try to do this while I'm holding the phone. And then you put it under the yarn. I'm just trying to even this out, okay. And then you're gonna put these ends over the yarn and through that hole. It's just very difficult with one hand. I'm just going to set the phone down while I tie this tight. Alright, so it ends up kind of looking like a necktie. And you just keep doing all of them the same way. And you could push them, you could push them down afterward. You could just tie a bunch on and then push them down. Now, you'll see because I um, had all different size shirts, these are all different lengths and you can keep them all different lengths but I what I plan on doing is once I hang it or once I finish then I'll just cut them straight across so I'm gonna get all the t-shirts on and then find my shortest one which is this one and then cut them straight across that's easier for me than measuring out every strip. It's a lot quicker that way. So that's it. I'll uh, finish this up and show you a picture when I'm done.
far. See what I mean about it blowing in the wind? Now I just, I'm gonna trim it. Um, I just have it clipped. I'm gonna get maybe some red clothespins but I'm gonna clip it better right now and then try to cut them even with just regular scissors. I'm gonna go maybe the length of where that this uh, line is in the scissors and then just cut them all there. So it's an easy way to measure them as I go around. 